Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is part three in the last part. And I am glad I don't have to make a living by doing stuff like this because I would starve to death. But from a distance, it does kind of look like the propeller. Depending, I think this is for a book cover. This plane's going to be pretty small anyway. I mean, the whole thing is only, let's see how big this plane is in the original. Of course, it's in millimeters and I can't decipher. This plane is only four inches long at the max. So it's going to be pretty little. So hopefully this will work. And if not, maybe somebody else will chime in on how to do something like this. I just kind of made a propeller that looks like it's in motion, I think. But anyway, the how I did it, I just took an ellipse tool without holding down the control button and made an optical ellipse. And then I actually, if I didn't, I should have skewed it a little bit. So you kind of get, you know, that. We're going to make it a little bit bigger to kind of get the idea of a turning propeller. Now, if you've watched enough of my videos, you know I draw in the center of the page. And this is probably why, more so than ever. I'm going to take the two-point line, and I'm going to go from the center outward, Control-D and make a duplicate of that and click on it and move the center of the rotation. And then that way I've got part of my drawing. So I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to control G and make a, a group of that. Move the center rotation of that. Control D and make a duplicate. And then I'm just going to kind of spin it around. And so you see now I've got a short one that I'm going to control D and probably spin it back. Now I can take the Smart Fill tool and fill these in. I actually do like the black ring around the outside of the propeller, so I'm going to try to cut this circle and leave the black really on the out, just the outside. So I'm going to delete everything else. So now I have a black ring on the outside. I could actually probably make that a little darker by making a little more of a width. That's probably make it half that size, 2.5. And I could have left, and that actually put a, put the, um, I just want it on the outside. So let me back up here. That's what I've got. We could do that later. And what we could do is, well, let's just do it now. I'm going to change my nudge factor to uh, one inch. And I'm going to move this over, move that over, and move that over. And then that way I've still got this outline. I can take these and make them a little thicker now than a hairline. But now we can play around. <clears throat> and there's a couple ways you could do this. You could do these individually. When you get the interactive fill tool, you need to kind of be uh, selected on one of them. And we're just going to add a little black to the end. Then we can move that up. Probably be better to get it in the center. You can actually take it past the blade. Because we just want a little bit of darkness. And I really want a lighter color in the middle. Voila. Now you need to click on the next one and do the same thing. And because they don't have to be identical, uh, you don't really have to worry about placement. I'm going to get a little bit lighter in the center. Move that one to the center. Then you can always move your slide bar out. And then select the next one. If you don't select the next one, that's going to try to do it still to the old one. and get a little bit lighter on the center. And the only thing I really kind of did to make it look good is now I'm going to take it and select it all and Control-G and group it. 
and go up to effects, blur, and I'm gonna, I don't know which one I used before. Let's get this out of the way and try to blur it up a little bit. Because you don't want it to be perfect. Now, let's nudge these back over. And we've kind of got an outline around the blades. Kind of give us some depth. Now I'm going to control G all of it and bring it over our, our airplane. Now I'm not saying this is perfect or good. Uh, all I can say is I gave it my best shot. And as you can see, I'm already pretty close to the airplane. And you could play around with it and spin it and have the bigger one up and the other one down. And you could, you know, from here, you could stretch it, make it a little bigger. You could probably actually skew it. You know, make it a little bit different angles, whatever you want to do. That one is probably overkill. But what is kind of the neat part about it, the cone of the airplane propeller needs to be in front of that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move that out of the way for a second. I'm gonna go ahead and fix this and make this all the same color. So now we got a cone of an airplane. That's the motor part. We can bring our object into the picture and take, well, this, let me do this. I've played with this enough. Let's select all these and let's go and let's go to object and combine them. <clears throat> There's a little bit of problem there. Tell you what, let's back up and let's just group them together. Because that's really all, all we need to do. And if you ever see that happen where Corel puts it back and you, you're trying to go off the page, but it won't let you. So let's just control G and group those. Put this back. And we need that cone to be in front of the propellers. So let's get our propellers kind of in the middle of the cone and then select that and go up to object, order, front of page. And now the cone is in front of those propellers. And I'd play around with that. And that, you know, looking at it, the top one's really too tall. So, you know, you could bring it down and play around with it. But... I really, maybe somebody will chime in on how else you could do it. But I think once you get the plane um, clean up, I think it's going to look pretty good. And if you remember, of course, I've changed my nudge factor now. Control D, make a duplicate of that. I think on paper, it might look pretty good. Anyway, I gave it my best shot. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.